What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Blake and today we're going to be talking about the second version, the second alpha version of Cosmic Desktop. For those who are unfamiliar, System76 has created uh, the Cosmic Desktop, which is a new Rust-based desktop environment that you can use either on Pop! OS or really one of your favorite distributions. Now it is in alpha right now, it's in the second alpha release, which we're going to check out here in a couple of minutes within a VM. Along with software, System76 also creates really great hardware. Well, at least I, I think it's great. I really don't know. I've never owned one of their pieces of hardware. But they are, it's, it's meant to run Linux. I'll leave their website down in the description along with the link where you can download this ISO as well. But yes, enough about System76. What about Cosmic? All right, Cosmic was designed to be intuitive, flexible, it, yours. That is a huge theme. Well, a huge theme of the Cosmic Desktop is theming, which we're going to see. We saw in the last video, so we're not going to really um, look at the theming and uh, customizing as much in this video, just because we know what it can do from last video. We are going to check out the revamped launcher. Uh, the file manager is like a fully working file manager now. They've got updated workspaces, which are very similar to the workspaces in GNOME. Now, we're not going to check those out because anytime I do the gestures on the trackpad, it just does the gestures within my GNOME system because that's my main system. I've got Fedora Workstation running, right? So we'll check those out on a bare metal install, which actually, that reminds me. Should we wait until the actual release to install the Cosmic Desktop or Pop! OS with the Cosmic Desktop on bare metal? Or should we do that on the next alpha release? I'm assuming there's going to be a few more alpha releases. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming that. Um, but I always assume, and a lot of times I'm wrong, I guess. Let me know down in the comments. Would you rather see uh, the next alpha release installed on a bare metal? You know, we can do that. We can just wipe out my whole Linux system and throw Cosmic on there. Or would you rather wait until the final release? And with all these alpha releases, we can just check out the virtual machine. I just know that some people like uh, whenever you're testing out, you know, a distribution or a uh, desktop environment, anything, right? They like to see it on bare metal, which I get because why wouldn't you want it on bare metal, right? You want to see what it, how it will actually perform and how it does in a real world setting, right? Instead of just on a virtual machine. Enough of all the intro stuff, right? Uh, let's get into it. If you want to, hit the like button if you're into this kind of thing. Uh, subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. Uh, yeah, you know, let's just go. All right, so as you can see, we jump into the Cosmic Desktop, uh, and it's the same as the last video, of course. Uh, looks exactly the same. This is going to be what it looks like on the final release as well, I'm assuming. Um, but like I said, a few things that were really changed in this update were the launcher, the files manager, and the settings. There's now a Bluetooth toggle in the settings, so let's jump over there. Right up here, there's a Bluetooth toggle. Now, I'm not sure if this is just because I am on a virtual machine. I don't think it should be that reason. I've hooked up Bluetooth devices before on virtual machines. Regardless, there's nothing in this Bluetooth section. Let me know down below in the comments if if you have checked the alpha version out let me know if anything's in the bluetooth um page because when i checked out the first alpha the first time i checked alpha one out the store wouldn't work for me and i mentioned that the store wasn't like wasn't ready to be used right but then i logged in again checked it and the store was completely fine so all i'm saying is it's possible that you can, I mean, I would assume that you can since that was one of the main updates was Bluetooth and being able to connect your Bluetooth devices. I just can't see anything right now. And maybe that is, again, because of the VM. Other than that, there really hasn't been any changes to the settings. They're still pretty much just the same. Again, if you didn't know, uh, the theming and everything is huge in the Cosmic Desktop. So you can see right here within the uh, so you can see right here within the settings, you can pretty much change everything. You really can. You can do you can customize a lot. Obviously, the wallpaper, but where it really gets interesting is down here in the appearance tab, the panel tab, the dock. These are all things that. To customize them in GNOME, you would have to use plugins and extensions, and all this right here is native, which is very, very cool. 
So you can pick from their accent colors, or they have so graciously given us the choice to be able to pick our own custom color. So if I wanted to use something from the Nord theme, like I usually always do, let's do this. 2E3440 is that color, that gray for the Nord theme. And look, it changes everything. It changes the panel, it changes the dock, and it changes the windows. Now that's very, very cool. And you can of course change the text. We'll do the, uh, what is it, D, 8D, E, 9. I mean, you can even change the highlight color. But yeah, you can actually just give it some of your own, just a little bit of your own flavor, you know? But enough of the, actually, yeah, let's change the highlight color real quick. We'll do a uh, the red. Bam, I think that's the highlight. Yep. See, that does not look that good, but still, I can do it if I want. <laughs> you can even pick the uh, style of your highlights. Now, this is something, I guess we will go into the, um, I don't think I talked about this, did I, in the last alpha version? The... You can have square or round uh, highlights, which is cool. Most people probably wouldn't care about that kind of thing. Um, but still, it, it just it has options. Now, yes, we have talked in the last one about the appearance, the panel, and the dock. Um, but there are, I believe, some new uh, options for window management. Now you can actually disable the super key if you wanted. That's new. You can take away the maximize and minimize buttons. Uh, again, that's very similar to GNOME, or that's just like GNOME. Um, and they also, the focus navigation, that's new for this second alpha. Now uh, the focus can follow the cursor, or cursor follows focus, uh, whichever you want. I usually do focus follows cursor. Um, <clears throat> that just means that whatever window you put your, um, your mouse on, then, or your cursor on, it's going to, it's going to bring that window to, to front and center, right? So I'll show you if we have Firefox open, Jesus, and the terminal open. Oh well, it doesn't seem to be doing it on here. I have to actually click. Let's see. No. Yep, I actually have to click still. So, again, alpha version. It might just not be... I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Focus follows cursor. That's always what... I. It's changed in, like, other um, desktop environments or whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> well... What's supposed to happen is that, so I'm on Firefox, right? That's the window that's open or up front and center. And then technical difficulties, let's uh, just give me a second, okay? And we're back. Sorry, it just kind of froze up on me a little bit. You know what? I think I might actually, for the next alpha release, <clears throat> I might actually just throw this on bare metal. You know, I think we'll try that for the next one. Right now, we're not going to since I'm in the middle of the video and everything, but... Yes, I've already decided for us. We're going to check the next alpha version out on bare metal. So, but there we go. So as I was saying, uh, focus follows mouse, at least what I thought it was, was if you had, say you had a window open, say you had Firefox open, and the terminal. Now, when I go over, see the, the terminal is what's in focus right now. But uh, focus follows cursor is supposed to, I thought, once you move your cursor over to a different application or a different window, that's supposed to come up, you know, front and center. I thought. I could be wrong, though, because right now I still have to tap on the windows for it to actually uh, come up. But that could just be, A, I'm in a VM, B, um, it's a glitch or a bug, or C, which is more likely, I'm a dumbass and don't know what focus or cursor fo follows focus means. Or vice versa, focus follows cursor. So another thing in Cosmic is uh, the revamped launcher. So you can do a lot of things. You can look for files. You can actually run commands as well. So I believe you could do this before, but I'm not sure. 
Now, if you pull up the launcher by hitting the super button, what's one? Oh yeah, I disabled mine. Whatever. Pull up the launcher, and if you type in run space, and since it is Pop OS, it is uh, apt that it uses for its package manager. So we just do say sudo apt get update. We run it. It pulls up a terminal, and you just got to throw in your password. And right there, it starts updating your computer, right? Now, I'm not going to actually upgrade this right now uh, just because it's a VM and everything. But I think that's that's pretty cool. I don't know if I would necessarily use it because I just pull up a terminal. Um, but still, it's still something that you can do within the launcher. Another thing that you can do, let's go, um, let's go to my repo on Codeberg. And we're going to download some wallpapers because you can look for your files within the launcher as well. So just go over here. I'll actually leave the link if you guys want. And if you guys like the Nord theme or anything, um, I'll leave the link to just this handful of wallpapers if you do want them. Now, there are actually a few other things that you can do uh, with the launcher. Like I said, you can run the system commands, but you can also look up recent files or documents within your system. If we type in recent, push space then you can see all of these recent files there's also a few other ones if we type in a question mark right here we can see the other ones uh, obviously the uh, running commands we've got recent open document file navigation file search web search and also you can use a calculator so it can do math problems for you if you're dumb like me so along with that revamped launcher like i said uh in the beginning the file manager was was revamped as well. It's pretty much like a fully functional file manager now. Let's open Cosmic Files. Now here we can see uh, we've got a couple of different views. You can go, you've got a grid view and you've also now got a list view which is cool because I like that. Uh, you can show hidden files. Pretty sure you could always do that though. And so like I said, um, so once again it's like a fully functional file manager right and another cool thing that they have is previews so let's go to downloads real quick and we're just going to look at some of the wallpapers i installed and now let's make it full screen and now it has this little like gallery viewer on the side which i think is pretty neat i don't know if you noticed but the window actually absorbs into like the the top bar and the panel and everything the dock I thought that was pretty cool. I just noticed that. And you can see up here, see like the little widget icons. They all just kind of form into that one window, which I just, it's, I don't know, that's just like subtle and you wouldn't really notice it right away, I don't think. Uh, but I, I really like that. I just think it's kind of cool. So again, we've got the gallery on the side, but then also uh, it can now, the uh, Cosmic Files can now compress and extract uh, files. So if we go over here, but we can just select one, right click, extract, bam. Just like that, it extracts the file. So very, very cool. A lot of really great updates on on this alpha version. All right, everybody. Well, that was the Cosmic Desktop Alpha 2 by System76. And I just, I, I am very excited. I, <laughs> I am also in the... Uh, I am also in the works of just putting together the GNOME 47 video, just because it's, you know, everyone makes a video of the new GNOME releases. Uh, but if it's not obvious, I like this Cosmic Desktop way more than GNOME. And it's not even, like, it, it really does not matter at the end of the day who gives a fuck. It's funny, because if you know anything about GNOME, then you'll know that this GNOME 47 actually released accent colors accent colors in gnome gnome users have been asking for begging for accent colors forever but i'm going to talk about that in the uh, gnome 47 video let's stay on topic here blake even though i'm awful at it i love the cosmic desktop i just i think it's great it's a because i've always liked gnome i've liked gnome well, I haven't always liked GNOME. GNOME has grown on me, and I like its style and everything, especially because I use Mac OS, and just together, I mean, they don't work well, right? But they look similar, and they have the similar feel. 
Uh, so I, I do like using GNOME, but I really like Cosmic because it's just so much, you have so much more, so many more options, right? And I don't know. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to do really well. Uh, and this is me just saying that I like it out of the bottom of my heart. And it's not because System76 uh, has some kind of like contest thing going that whoever, you know, makes the best video about Cosmic um, wins prizes or something. So they have like a, a ambassador program for Cosmic, right? And I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. I'll, I'll do that. I want to sign up for that. I figured, you know, maybe we'd get like a t-shirt or something, a fucking hat or whatever. I didn't, I didn't really care about getting anything. I was just doing it because I, I like Cosmic. I liked Pop! OS. You know, I've said it a million times now. But they have this like ambassador program where you make videos praising Cosmic Desktop and everything, of course. And if they like your video, you like win contests and you can win prizes or something, which is just really put a bad taste in my mouth with company side um just because i don't know it just feels it to me you know to be like hey if you put out videos speaking good about this desktop environment we'll give you prizes now supposedly that's not what they were trying to do it's supposedly not that and the response that i got was it's not really a contest until you get to the top level where it's a chance to win a system 76 product okay all the levels have prizes, and it's just to create a fun reward for contributors and promoters so they feel more encouraged. I can see where you're coming from, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not like, I just think it's, I don't know, it just seems weird. I don't, maybe I'm totally reading into it. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to like the company to like the product, right? And I'm not even saying that I don't like System76. I think they make great software, and I've heard they make great hardware. Um, and this is the only interaction I've ever had with them. So I, I'm not even saying that it's a, a bad thing. It was just kind of weird to me. Um, I kind of just thought that, I don't know, it just seemed like a contest, right? And so it, to me, it seemed like it was a breeding ground for people to just make up, just make stuff up, right? Even though this is a great desktop environment and I really do like it and I, I recommend it and will recommend it when the final version comes out. Again, I just thought that was kind of, I don't know. Eh. It just seems like, you know, you could say good things and you maybe get cool things. I don't know. It just is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, all in all, I really like the Cosmic Desktop. I think it's going to do, I think a lot of people are going to really like it. All the people that like GNOME but also like to customize will definitely enjoy co the Cosmic Desktop. So let me know down in the comments if you uh, have checked out the alpha, any of either of the alphas. Uh, are you going to be running Cosmic on your distribution of choice? Are you going to run it on Pop! OS? What are you going to do? Let me know down in the comments. All right, if you guys made it this far, wow, I really appreciate it. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Um, yeah, if you're into this kind of stuff, you know, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing because we have a bunch more content coming your way. Yeah, I, br I brought that old tagline out.